Patrick Mahomes can't save the Chiefs. That's producer Harry's headline. And um, great producer news. Harry's, for, producer Harry's slinging. The, for, Harry is salt bay for the rest of the AFC tonight. <laughs> We're like, well, he's excited gets, about the Dolphins. He and I are excited about the Dolphins. You two are, are ruining the, the Dolphins parade, but that's okay. No, I love Oh, Dolphins. yes, you are. All right, so the, the, the great news about this Chiefs loss is that Mark Davis better hire Antonio, Antonio Pierce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's nothing else done. great coming out of it for Kansas City. So, uh, Brinson, is this the end of an era? Is this just a rough patch? Is it going to circle back next year? Are they going to make a run now? I don't know what to make of this team because they are all sorts of messed up, and it starts with the reenactment of the 2006 Patriots in which Tom Brady had no one to throw the ball to. I feel like that's what Patrick Mahomes is up against. Um, as podcast devotees will note, uh, the we had a Nissan thrilling play of the day segment um i read it and it involved two raiders defensive touchdowns in seven seconds the chiefs i don't i still think here's where i'm at on the chiefs they have big time problems <laughs> they, cut it harry uh, there's another youtube short <laughs> the chiefs have problems particularly at receiver travis kelsey is aging but is still a very 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 good player isaiah pacheco banged up Run game, you know, the offensive line hadn't been as elite as it has been in, in years past. But on like all these, all these times the Chiefs have made these run, you know, they have these runs. It's Mahomes and Andy Reid carrying them, and we say, what if the defense gets hot and can help them win a Super Bowl? And it's done that before. Well, what if the if the defense is just really good? It's been good all year. It's going to probably be good through the rest of the year. What if the offense gets hot? And I'm not saying that it, they're just going to magically find a receiver, just that maybe Mahomes and Kelsey will just have three games of going wild, which is not implausible at all. Once well, it, we've said this I, every I, year, yeah, but this year feels different. So I heard Dance and Romo say this. I was in the in the car watching the game. Well, I mean, <laughs> that doesn't sound safe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting behind the parking lot at the uh, grocery store breach watching the game. I was, in, I was in the car watching the game. Burning them. Listening to the game, I should say. And I heard it It was like amid the two defensive touchdowns from the Raiders, and I think the line was, I believe from Nance, you know, Tony, this team just feels like it just wants to get to the postseason already. And it does feel like that. Do you think it's possible, and this is what Nance and Romo alluded to, that uh what six five straight years of playing all playing but basically into February has sort of it's sort of like the Warriors corollary or they're little like the LeBron James Miami Heat that Cavs stuff where it's like you play like every postseason run you go on is two, three, four extra games. Or maybe it's the Patriots. We talk about the Patriots with that. Like eventually, it wears on you a little bit. Do you think that's catching up to them at all? And they're so frustrated with this wide receiver situation that they really do just want to get to the playoffs and see if they can flick a switch. I think it's more of this team just isn't as good as they were in any of the past five years. I mean, they lost to a quarterback who didn't complete a pass after the first quarter. It's Aiden O'Connell is the first quarterback to win a game when he did not complete a pass after the first quarter since the year 2000 when the Bengals beat the Broncos, uh, by the way. Um, but it's literally been 23 years since we've seen that happen. The other worrisome thing is that this is a team that usually gets hot at the end of the season. They're 1-3 and three in December. They haven't had a losing record in December since 2013. It has been 10 years. This team usually catches fire. They're not doing that. We're seeing four losses in their past six games. Mahomes has almost hit, I think, a career high in interception. So he's trying to do too much. And now you're telling me if the Chiefs are staring at a third seed, a possible first-round matchup with the Buffalo Bills, which we'll talk about a little bit when we get to the AFC playoff picture, but this what just feels like a team. that would be? I, well, it, it, this just feels like a team that I don't see – a route to them playing a ton better. I mean, granted, the other team's not going to get two defensive touchdowns every game. So, you know, you take that away and they probably beat the Raiders. But I don't see this team putting up 35 points in the playoffs if they need it. It, it just seems like it's going to be a struggle. And there's, a, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they lost the wild card round. Right. This mm. feels like a team that didn't start two and four or whatever they started a few years ago. And I kept worrying about them. And as Brinson noted, they were going to get red hot and they did. 
because there are no, to paraphrase Rick Pitino, you know, Larry Bird ain't walking through that door. I mean, it's called the it, wide receiver. It's, it's Tyreek. I mean, Rishi Rice didn't have a great game. Obviously, he's played a lot better. He's not Tyreek. Nobody's Tyreek Hill. Um, I'm not going to go down the path of they lost the Tyreek Hill trade because they won the Super Bowl. I mean, that seems no, that's that's fine. Short sighted. Yeah. I mean, that's the they that's would, the of course, like Tyreek Hill to be on that roster. That would make a difference. I, it does feel like there's just more to it than that. The Mahomes, is it? I mean, they just have guys that don't get open. I mean, have they but everybody's really been... angry all the time. Like Mahomes was yelling his lineman. Kelsey's throwing his helmet down. Everybody's body language looks like a, a eight year old who just saw their cat get hit by a car. It's just everything <laughs> about the team is so weird right now. I love Jesus. it. I was hey, going to say the this. Steelers what? under Matt Canada, but sure, go with the cat reference. <laughs> what? Um. What? What was the first game with Taylor Swift? I don't know. Uh, I think it was Bears. Uh, so it was like Way week two, week three. Yeah. Yeah, are you, I, are you I mean, bring up is, is she bad luck? Are you gonna bring up a she a distraction? I, mean, I was gonna, I was gonna jokingly, I was gonna jokingly do it. Look, this team went on their week ten bye, and since then they are two and four with wins at the Patriots and at the Raiders. I mean, yeah. what is happening? Their wide receivers suck. That's that's the tall and short of it. I think that's what it comes down to. Their offensive line has struggled too. The tackles haven't been very good. And that's obviously a concern. But if guys aren't getting open, I mean, guys aren't getting open. All right. We'll be playing time and, to and, talk and about. Real quickly, Wilson, sorry. But I think Antonio Pierce 100% deserves yeah. this Raiders job. Yeah. So hopefully Mark Davis just takes the layup. Don't don't don't, don't do this, Jim Harbaugh. Don't mess up. <laughs> don't take the layup and go to half court and shoot a half court shot for half a million dollars. You're going to air a, 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 a sky hook at half court. Yeah, just, for just, no take the, just take the layup. 